Hello, this is the Undetectable team. In this video, we'll give a detailed review of the Undetectable Anti-Detect Browser. Undetectable is a special program that protects your online identity. The technology of digital fingerprint substitution allows you to visit various sites, avoiding blocks and tracking. It enables the creation and management of multiple browser profiles with unique settings and extensions. Websites perceive these profiles as real users, not seeing any connection between them. The browser ensures a high level of security and privacy, distinguishing it from ordinary proxies or VPNs that only change the IP address without hiding other data. Undetectable is an excellent tool for multi-accounting. You can download the browser from the official website in the download section. As you can see, there are three versions of the program. For computers running 64-bit windows, starting from version 10. For Mac with M1, M2, and Intel processors. Select the version you need and download it. After downloading, install the program on your computer. To authorize in the program, you need to create a personal account on the official website. Go to the registration section. To create an account, come up with a login. Requirements for the login can be found by hovering over the information button. Next, enter the email address, which the registration notification will be sent to. Then type your Telegram or Skype nickname. Come up with a password and agree to the terms of service. After you click register, a code will be sent to your email to confirm registration. Enter it and click continue. To log into the program, use login and password you created during registration. In Undetectable, you can create profiles either in bulk or individually. To create one profile at a time, click the New Profile button. In the Setup window in the Profile Name line, come up with a name for the new profile. Here you can also choose the type of profile, cloud or local. You can then choose the folder where it will be stored, set a group, and a tag for easier navigation. Next, we move to the Main Profile Settings section where you can choose the operating system and the type of browser that will be emulated. In the next section, we can select the configuration which the unique profile fingerprint will be based on. Below, we see the user agent corresponding to the specific configuration. At the bottom, set the screen resolution, the number of CPU cores, and the amount of RAM. Then, set the language. In the main profile settings section, you can add a proxy the Advanced section is dedicated to different fingerprint settings. Clicking on the cookie icon takes us to the Cookies section, where you can add or import cookies into the profile. In the Accounts section, you can add or import keys for quick authorization on specific websites. There's also a button to export existing keys and delete them. On the right side of the screen, the main information about the profile being created is displayed. After finishing the setup, click the Open button to launch the profile. To save time in Undetectable, you can create hundreds of profiles in a few clicks. To do this, go to the Mass Creation Manager by clicking the Mass Creator button. In the popped-up window in the Start ID field, set the number which the profile numbering will begin from. In the Name Template, you can set the format for displaying profile names. Below in the Folder field, you can choose the folder and set tags for more comfortable navigation among many profiles. In the Main section, in the Format line, you can choose the basis for creating profiles. Then set the number of profiles you need to create, choose the operating system and browser, and mark the configurations which the future profiles will be based on. The Advanced Settings tab allows you to set the screen resolution, add a proxy, and choose the necessary languages. In the Start Page field, set the Start Page when opening the profile. After finishing the setup, click the Generate button to generate the profiles. All generated profiles will be displayed in the field on the right side of the screen. The plus button next to the profile expands the main information about it. The Create button completes the profile creation. One of the useful features of the Undetectable is the cookie farming bot and the popular website's generator. 
This is a great tool for warming up many accounts simultaneously. To start warming up, click the Bot button on the left side panel of the main window. At the top, you can choose the Browser Engine. Below, select the Profiles for warming up. Next to it is a button to search for the required profiles by folders and tags. In the Script field, you can choose the script according to which the bot will farm cookies. Below, you can choose the option where the IP will change during farming. There's also an option to farm in headless mode, which will save traffic. By selecting the Do Not Load Images in Browser option, images will not load during cookie farming, which will also save traffic. The Tabs field allows you to set the number of tabs that will open simultaneously during farming. In the Time field, you can set the time the bot will spend on the page. The Fix Time option sets a fixed time the bot will stay on the resource, while the Random Interval option allows the bot to decide how long to stay on each web page. The next part of the window is the Website Generator. It creates a list of popular web resources based on the specified geo that the cookie bot will visit. In the Country line, select the country, then set the number of websites to generate. After generating, the websites will appear in the field below. You can also import a file with a list of web resources for profile warming by clicking the Import button. The Clear button clears the list. To reset all bot settings, click the Reset button. To start automatic cookie farming, just click Start. After farming is completed, you can view the list of all bot actions. After farming is completed, you can view the list of all bot actions by clicking the View Log File button. The next useful feature of the program is the Synchronizer. The Synchronizer allows you to perform the same action simultaneously in several profiles. From the moment synchronization starts, your actions in the main window will automatically be reproduced or synchronized in other windows. For example, text input, opening new tabs, scrolling through social networks, managing extensions, and more. To set up the synchronizer, click the synchronization button in the main program window. In the synchronizer window, we see a list of launched profiles. In the status column, you can change the profile status and make it the main one by clicking the three dots next to it. To start the synchronizer, click the Start button. You can then arrange the windows on your desktop. Clicking the Like in the Main Window button will open a tab identical to the one in the main profile in all profiles. The Close All and Open New button closes all tabs in all profiles and opens the link inserted in the field above. The Restart button Restart synchronization in case of problems. To access the Profile Manager, click the Profiles button in the main program window. The Manager allows you to launch and close profiles simultaneously. To launch them, simply select the necessary profiles and click the Start button. You can also do this through the Context menu by right-clicking and selecting Open. To close profiles, select the necessary profiles, right-click, and then click Close in the context menu. In the Profile Manager, you can export or import profiles into the program. Select the profiles you want to export and click the Export button. You can also do this by calling up the context menu and clicking the Export button. To import profiles, click the Import icon and select the desired file. To archive profiles, select the necessary profiles and click the three dot button, then archive. You can also do this by calling up the context menu and clicking archive. To unarchive profiles, select the necessary profiles, click the three dot button, then unarchive. To edit profile names, select the necessary profiles, click the three dot button, then click edit. To update the profile browser, select the necessary profiles, click the three dot button, then click Update Browser. You can also do this through the context menu by clicking Update Browser. To delete profiles, first select the necessary profiles, then click the three dot button, and in the menu, click Delete. You can also delete profiles by calling up the context menu and clicking Delete. If you need to export account data, you can easily do this by selecting the necessary profiles and calling up the context menu 
hovering over the export button and selecting the export accounts option. The same steps need to be followed to export cookies. To clear all data in a profile, select the necessary profiles, then call up the context menu and click the clear browser data button. By following the same steps, you can also clear the cache in profiles. To move profiles to the cloud or make them local, call up the context menu and click the move to cloud or make local button. In the profile manager, you can also set or change proxies. To do this, select the profile, then call up the context menu by right-clicking. Click the set proxy button and select the proxy. To set tags or folders for profiles, select the necessary profiles and in the context menu, click the set tags or set folder button and choose the necessary ones. Comfortable mass work with proxies is impossible without a proxy manager. To access it, click on the proxy button in the main window of the program. To add a proxy, click on the new proxy button. In the window that appears, fill in the proxy details. Here, you can also check the proxy status by clicking the check button. To finish, click the save proxy button. To import proxies in bulk, click on the import button. In the window that appears, fill in the details, then click the Add button to complete the process. To export information about existing proxies, right-click on the selected proxies and select Export from the context menu. To check the status of proxies, select the desired proxies and click on the Check Proxy button. This can also be done by calling the context menu and clicking the Check Proxy button. To edit proxies, select the necessary proxies and click on the button with three dots. Then click on the edit button. This can also be done by calling the context menu and clicking the equivalent button. To delete proxies, first select the required proxies, then click the button with three dots and then click on the delete button. This can also be done through the context menu by clicking the delete button. In Undetectable, you can also set up proxies from our partners directly from the program. To do this, click on the briefcase icon. In the popped-up window, select one of the partners. Please note that the setup process for proxies from different partners may vary slightly. Let's take ASOX as an example. In the API key field, enter the API key, which you can copy from the partner's website by clicking this button. Select the quantity, type, country, and click the Generate button. For mass management of configurations, let's go to the Configuration Manager by clicking the Configuration Manager button in the main program window. If purchased configurations do not appear in the list, click the Update button. If you don't plan to use a configuration, you can archive it so it doesn't get in your way. To do this, select the necessary configurations and click the Archive Selected button. To unarchive, select the archived configurations and click the Unarchive Selected button. You can also go to the config store directly from the manager to purchase configurations. For comfortable management of extensions, Let's open the Extension Manager by clicking the Extensions button in the main program window. To add a new extension, click the Add button. In the popped-up window, you can choose how to add it. You can paste links from the Chrome Web Store for one or several extensions, or select a folder with an unpacked extension, or drag or specify the path to CRX or ZIP files. Then click the Add button. To disable extensions, select them and right-click. In the popped-up menu, click the Disable button. Extensions can be deleted in two ways. First, select the necessary extensions and click the trash can icon. Second, 
select the Profiles, right-click, and in the menu, click the Delete button. Now let's take a closer look at the program settings. To access them, click the Settings gear in the main program window. In the main tab, you can set the language, change the application theme, select the IP checker, and view the API address. In the Storage section, you can change the server for storing cloud profiles. By default, the program uses our server. If you want to change the path to the profile folder, note that by default, it is located on the system drive. You will be offered several options. After selecting the appropriate option, confirm the change. In the Configurations field, you can add a token from another user's store and use their paid configurations. The token can be found in the account settings on the website. Disabling the Load Free Configurations option will prevent free configurations from being loaded. At the bottom, there are quick access buttons to profile folders and program error logs. In the Advanced Settings section, you can set additional browser settings and configure connection settings and the program's display and performance. In the Profiles section, in the Profile Settings tab, you can set default settings for new profiles. The Advanced Settings section duplicates the fingerprint settings from profile creation. It is recommended to use the default values set by our specialists. The Browser Settings section includes several subsections. The Core is a subsection where you can set the engine on which new profiles will be created by default. Cookies is a subsection that includes importing outdated cookies. Bookmarks is a subsection where you can add bookmarks either manually or from a file. The Configuration Store is a special service where you can purchase real fingerprints of the most popular OS and browsers. It features over 200,000 configurations. You can access the store through the Configuration Manager by clicking the Cart button or by going to the Configuration section in the Admin Dashboard on the official website. Using the specified parameters in these fields above the list, you can quickly find and select the necessary configurations from the ones presented below. All purchase configurations will be displayed in the My Configuration section. Here you can view full information about the configuration, set a name, or disable unnecessary ones. To buy configurations, check the necessary ones, and you will immediately see their price on the right side of the screen. Then click the Buy button, and the funds will be deducted from the Configuration Store balance. If you have any questions about using the software, you can go to the Help section on our official website. There, you will find all the knowledge base and video tutorials for a more thorough acquaintance with the browser. In this section, you can also find links to our social media and the technical support Telegram bot in case of problems. This is the end of the review of the main functions of Undetectable. If the video was useful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.